morning, everybody, and welcome to this in the morning, 15 minutes to change our lives. Look at the Sikhs, Pashas, Chalak Aleph, Pashas, Toldes, finishing off this Sikh. So we're discussing how that Avram is the one that, that helps Yitzhak be best Yitzhak he can be. And we see how special Yitzhak is that Yitzhak was, he had a bar mitzvah and he had a bris at the right time. And and we see that when Avram did it, when he made it, the, the Mishnah, the, the bris party, Oig was there, invited everyone, because Avram was a Hashvah guy by then, and he invited Oig. And Oig said to himself in his heart, he goes, making a big deal with this little kid, so with my, my one finger, I can destroy him, and all be done, all Avram's generations, and all these, all the, the future of Avram is gone. And Hashem says to Oig, he goes, you watch. He goes, that kid, his descendants are going to be the ones that are going to go and destroy you. And that's how ultimately happens and Moshe destroys him. And so the lesson that we're taking from this, this incident in this story is that Avram was, was a guy that was, was on the other side of the world, so to speak. Everyone is doing this and Avram is doing that. And he was strong about it. Like, like we learned, says um, that Avram, Avram publicized that Hashem is Kel Elam. Not even, not just that he publicized that Hashem exists and there's only one Hashem, but that the whole existence of the world is only Hashem. It's not Kel Ha Elam, the God of the world, which means there's a world and there's a God, but it was that there's only God. And Avram makes this big Mishnah. And, and, and so the lesson is that first of all, we've got to stand strong with our beliefs. And we can be public about it. You know, a lot of, I remember when I was a kid growing up, I would go, once in a while, I'd go to the old age home, Jewish old age home, in the community, once in a while. And every time I'd go, it always something stuck out with me. All the older people always complained that we had our tits out. And they would always say, I put your tits and hide it in. It's not, they didn't like it. You know, because they came from Europe. And anti-Semitism was, was rampant to try to hide yourself, especially after the war. So they say, let's hide yourselves as much as possible. So what does Avram do? Avram doesn't do that. Avram makes a big mission. He invites everybody. And this is a lesson for us. We have to be proud of our Yiddishkeit and, and publicize it and not be afraid, even though you're going to come and you're going to say, what do you mean? But there's going to be an oig, and that's so very powerful. And with gosh, he can destroy you in seconds. But what we see from the story Hashem says to, to Oig, they're going to destroy you. Yidin are going to be fine. And that's what we're saying here. And even though it could be even to the extent that these people are, like, like Bagashis, it looks very difficult to be able to accomplish. We don't have to worry about it. We do what we're going to do, and it all works out. And that's, that's what we'll finish off today. Baha'i'ra. Ma'iza avashin l'banim. The end of the summer. It comes the lesson, and this is a lesson for us. Avram Halidis Yitzchak, Mechatz Vasei, Me Avram Avinu, Avim Shako Yisrael, from Avram Avinu, which is the father of all the Jewish people, Shaloi Nirta, Mipne Elam Kula, he wasn't afraid, he didn't bend himself um, from the whole world. The Hichriz, Kel Elam, and he publicized that Hashem is the God of the world, meaning his only godliness. Elam Hulekus. And the outcome of this, he led his Yitzhak, that caused, he's saying that, that Yitzhak will be born in a spiritual sense, and Yitzhak will continue on in his way. Like, like that idea, that, that, that both, both interpretations. Meaning, you could say as a parent, we could say that we have to be the example of how to be from Yid, and not be embarrassed, not be shy, we should be proud of our Yiddishkeit. And that will help give over the next generation. The kach kam kol yehudi so to every single year, b'chol zman b'chol makin, every single time in every single place. Ain lo la la hal hev la hav hell. Klal miabaitchim bekeicham veitzim adam. So to you, you shouldn't worry about a person that's reliant and relying on their own strong strength and ability. I go lad in his own strength and ability, and I go is very strong. We don't have to worry about this. Oh, miskasher, imakadosh baruch because we connect with Hashem. B'chinas shalomayim mitamadas, 
which is above reasoning. That person is working according to reasoning. But you're working from above reasoning, connecting with God. Not just in Kedusha, they can think, but also in the mundane. You take that gashmius and you go to work with it, and you make it a clear little kus. You make it a godly experience. Whether you share a vart or you give tzedakah, or you take that money and give tzedakah with it, or you do mitzvahs with it, or you, or you do a kiddush Hashem with it. There's so many ways and opportunities to, to bring out a and to show that a is there. Yeah, which is Torah's Yitzchak, which is the Asher of Yitzchak. The Ma'is is a Ruchnis, and the spiritual action that you're doing, meaning the Torah's, meaning is the Torah Mitzvahs. And then that causes having more children. You, you not just you have kids, you have kids that are ones to wage the war against the Oig Malachabashan, so to speak, but against the tide, the fighting is in tide and it's successful. Like a simple way of looking at this, like Shulchan. <laughs> they're fighting against the tide, the tide of assimilation, the tide of, of the struggle of Tayyam Mitzvahs, and they come and they go out of a place and they build Tayyam Mitzvahs, and they're not scared of it in no Oig. Okay, Milcham is Oig, like the war with Oig at this time. And they go out and they win, and, and we can produce children. That I like this. And this is the hachana. And this is the preface. This is what was needed to be able to have the conquering of Eretz Yisrael, Eretz HaKadosh, the Holy Land, Al Yedei, Mashiach Tzadkinu, through Mashiach, Mehir Aminu, Amin, speaking of our days. It's a very beautiful sikha, a very beautiful vart. And it's very enjoyable to hear these different sikhas and different ideas. And essentially, what we're saying is we shouldn't be afraid. And embarrassed, so that's why this is particularly my connection, connecting with with Chaydish of of Kislev, which is today's Rosh Chaydish, and then Kislev. There's so many Yom Tevim, all about transforming darkness to light, and like Hanukkah, and we have the Hanukkah Menor prayed. There you go, and people, you know, people. I'm sure there's people that are uncomfortable. Why are you publicizing Hanukkah? You know, a lot of reason why we light the Menor inside the house, not outside the house. It should be Allah is because. Because from generations and hundreds and, thousands, and hundreds of years, the Yidin, it was too dangerous to light the Menorah. But now we, we're, we're, we're taking over. We're, we're spreading it outside. And when we come with that attitude and we show that, that we're proud Yidin, and that even though the tide might be showing us one way, but we, we don't follow the tide, so that's the best defense or offense for, for bringing Mashiach. So Mitzvah Hashem, we should uh, do it in our lives and we should look in ourselves where we have this and where we could, where we could be more proud Yidin, where we can express it more. And uh, Mitzvah Hashem, we should be successful. Thank you very much for joining and have a great day.